guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTNHD, and yes, a huge product review for you guys uh, from Dell. I know a lot of people don't really like Dell, but uh, this is actually a PowerEdge R720. We're replacing one of our servers, uh, which is running, I believe, Business Objects, which is uh, has SQL and Tomcat as a web service. Uh, we actually got this really specced out, so let me open it up and show you guys. And uh, we purchased it with only one hard drive. As like Dell wants you to purchase additional hard drives, uh, you can't purchase it without a hard drive. If not, they won't let you purchase it, which is pretty crazy. So we got the one terabyte hard drive. Uh, we went to buy.com and find two terabyte hard drives, really cheap. We purchased five of them. Uh, the whole setup is I'm going to be doing a five, uh, RAID 5. Uh, and a RAID 5 with two terabyte hard drives, five of them is going to give me about nine to eight terabytes of hard drive space. I'm most likely going to partition the hard drive so I can have the SQL server database on its own hard drive. So if something happens, we always have a copy. But again, regardless of the hard drive fails or not, you got to make sure you guys are backing up your stuff, right? <clears throat> so, what comes in the box? Well, the box is pretty big. You got yourself your power cable. You know, that's always a plus. Uh, you got the bezel. I love the bezel. Uh, the bezel is, I, a lot of people in IT world, they don't like using the bezel at all because again, uh, you say to yourself, okay, I have my servers in my LAN room. So what's the point of having the bezel, you know? I like having it because uh, you can lock it down, and if someone goes into your lab room to do any maintenance with your HVAC, they're not around poking around and pressing buttons, you know? Uh, you got basic instructions, your CD, uh, I believe, uh, documentation and drivers. Um, I, I don't think we actually got the server pre-installed with an operating system because uh, I'm going to be installing Windows 2008 R2 Service Pack 2. 64-bit, you're probably saying to yourself, why not install Server 2012? Well, the software and the application that I'm going to be installing within this server only supports uh, 2008 R2, so that's why I'm installing it. And we're trying to take advantage of the 64-bit, okay? So uh, the next thing is, oh, this is the heavy box. So believe it or not, that's one of the heavy boxes. So this guy right here, I'm opening it up. And I'm assuming this one is the racks. Okay, so the server itself takes about, uh, I think, 3U. 3U is basically the size of three fingers. So uh, when you put it inside your rack space within your LAN room, that's how much space is taken. Uh, so, yes, this is the racks. Uh, so these are the racks right here. You got one for the right, one for the left. Again, when I am going to be mounting this, I'm going to be recording all this stuff with you live and uh, showing you guys how I mount it. Hopefully, I don't kill myself because the device is extremely heavy. So, I'm going to actually put the device over here on the side. There you go. And take this box and you know, put it over here on the side as well. That's awesome. Oh, this bad boy, this thing is awesome. And we're going to take all this. Bone mount. Just gonna throw it to the side, and I'm going to easily, hopefully I don't kill myself, take this bad boy out. So this guy is extremely heavy. Oh, so there we go. So as you can see, this bad boy has about two, four, six, eight bays. Now the eight bays is about uh, SATA. And if I zoom in a little bit more, I want you guys to see that this SATA is about one terabyte of hard drive space. Now, uh, that one terabyte hard drive space is not gonna be used at all. What I'm probably gonna do, this is a good idea, I'll probably take this hard drive and install the operating system on it and then insert the other five two terabyte hard drives, RAID 5 or that, and then install the database on that, which would be awesome. I think that would be a great idea. Um, you have your, uh, I believe, VGA port, so you could put uh, a monitor. You have your, um, I believe, next and previous, next and previous, or check. Uh, this right here will allow you to modify the LED display. 
uh, USB, a lot of a lot of servers nowadays. I think back then on Power Edge 1950s and 1900s, uh, they normally have two USB, so you can plug in directly with a mouse and keyboard. Uh, this right here is pretty new to me, so it looks like there's a uh, maintenance SD card that you can put on it. Very important to have is uh, CD-ROM because if you are installing an operating system, you most likely you know burn it into a CD or a DV, you you know a DVD, and you want to insert it to boot to it. And one thing I love about this is your serial key service tag is always awesome. Uh, back then in the past, service tags used to be mounted over here in the sideline. Uh, one thing about the new tray systems with the new servers is like you know, they got a nice little power button that you can just press on it and then take it out and then you're good to go. So I'm gonna put that back. There we go. Hopefully I didn't break it. <laughs> so let's take a look around and see all the goodies. As you guys can see, uh, it's a 3U, 3U right here. It has like a uh, locking mechanism. That's one of the good things about that, which I like. And let's check on the back side. So. As you guys can see right here on the back side that uh, we have one hot swappable uh, power adapter which I have to talk to my IT manager to see if we could purchase another one. It's always good that you have two hot swappable hard drive, um, not hard drives. Hard drives is good for hot swappable but when it comes to power adapters it's always great that you have two of them. Uh, and the reason that it's great to have two of them because if one fails you could just remove it and it will continue running on this one and uh, get the replacement, plug it in, and you're good to go. Uh, this guy right here has six, I believe, uh, one, two, three, or I believe PCI slots, and I don't, I don't, rem I don't recall what four, five, and six, seven are, but these are just additional expansion slots that you guys could do. Uh, this right here, four NICs, two USBs, got a VGA, and you got a, uh, a serial, and you got the Drake. We did not get the iDrake configuration on this particular server. My IT manager did not want to go and purchase that. Uh, this server, the best thing I like about this server, this server is classified as a virtualization server. The reason why is because, I don't know, Dell classifies this server as a virtualization server. You know, you can install, uh, let's say you install Zen server or, um, ah, EXI, vSpare, you install that stuff, even Hyper-V, you use the four NICs behind it and you could actually throttle and use different subnets, you know, create different VLANs with each additional NIC. That's the best thing about virtualization. I wish I was able to uh, put EXI on it or Hyper-V and just virtualize everything because it'd be the easiest solution. Well. That's about it guys, this is a nice little product review. Again, I think the, the specs on this thing, I'm gonna put it at the description. It is a quad-core processor. I think it's an Intel Xeon quad-core processor. Uh, the max memory that you could place in this guy, now it's crazy. 456 gigs of memory is the top capacity that you could put on the server, which that's crazy. We actually have only 16 gigs, which is enough. And I'm really happy about that. Quad core, 16 gigs, processor is amazing. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this product review. If you have any questions, leave it right below at the comment section. And I will post up all the information about the server itself at the bottom of the description. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.